I'm not being dirty. I'm trying to be clean, people. I'm trying to be a cleaner comic, you know what I mean? Because I'm dirty. I had, a, I had a tough, I had a bad experience telling dirty jokes one time. One time I told a joke that had the word twat in it. I pissed off all the cunts. <laughs> Believe that? <laughs> nice. So, awesome. So I found out the other day that I don't like left-handed people. I don't. Uh, who's left-handed? You? You are? Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like those crazy scissors you use, that silly way you tie your shoes. Every time we go to shake hands, some weird game of patty cake breaks out. Softballs are sinister, I don't like them. Yeah, yeah, they do weird stuff too. They, they're real cocky. They always say like, left-handed people are smarter than right-handed people. Yeah, yeah, is it? If that was true, why wouldn't you all move to England so you could drive a stick shift? Shaking hands is weird because I'm like a comic. I have to shake hands with people a lot. I'm not a germaphobe. It's just I don't like shaking hands with people because on more than one occasion, I've shook hands with somebody who's missing a finger. <laughs> yeah, they never fucking tell you. It's always like, put her there. Oh, shh. Gross. And you always want to go, what the fuck happened to your hand? Instead, you say something awkward like, I bet it's hard for you to hold change. <laughs> so I smoke menthols. Yeah. If you're not smoking, yeah, that's right. right. If you're not smoking menthols, you should. They're minty fresh. Yeah. Little air conditioning for the lungs. <laughs> it's like having an Altoid with cancer wrapped around it. That's part about smoking menthols, nobody bums cigarettes off you. <laughs> I should rephrase that, no white people bum cigarettes off you. There's no black people, fucking laugh. That's a black stereotype, you shouldn't laugh, you know, because that's a black stereotype, it's not true. However, I know a black stereotype that is true. Black people punch really hard. <laughs> I learned that after a show. I can talk about black people because I have a black friend. <laughs> I do. He's cool. We were talking the other day. We were hanging out. And I was talking to him. And I said, hey, man, um, how come you never see any black magicians? Think about it. You guys, name a black magician. Can't do it. People try to yell at David Blaine. He's he's Arab. You need to yell out some shit like Tyrone the Magnificent or something. Before I believe it. There's no black magicians. And it sucks because it'd be the fucking coolest thing ever. Black magician would be so cool. You'd just be like, ta-da! Motherfucker. see that. <laughs> Black friend's actually a comic, and uh, he saw me do that joke one night. And he goes, Joe, there are black magicians, you just don't hear a lot about them, because uh, white people are scared to give them their watch. <laughs> now I don't have kids, but you know what? Uh, sometimes I am at a mall, and I will see a cute kid, and I'll tell my wife, I'll be like, hey, look at that kid, he's cute, you know? Like, ah, you say that all the time, I think you're ready to have babies. No, I'm not, because I kind of figured it out. Babies are like strippers. Yeah, they are. They're really cool to look at, but if you got to spend any amount of time with them, they're fucking annoying. I'm glad you guys laughed at that. They didn't laugh at it at the first show. There must have been a bunch of strippers here. 
God knows you guys got enough fucking strip clubs. Jesus Christ. There's one like every five feet. Whoever sells brass poles in Dallas is fucking rich. I'm in love. I found true love. And this is how I freaking know it. This is why me and my wife are perfect together. True love. The other night, found a gray hair. Came out of the bathroom. I said, babe, found a gray hair. You know what that means. Someday, I'm gonna have gray pubic hair. <laughs> and she went, without missing a beat, she goes, baby, don't worry. My pussy's colorblind. <laughs> Boyfriend. 